tight lines with L and S. Sarah's behind the camera again. Figured it was time to do another fish cleaning segment, so we're going to clean a burbot or a lingcod or lawyer. Yeah. They've got lots of different names. Yeah. So you're going to want to have a pair of pliers and a fillet knife to do this job. So you'll take your fish and uh, nice and slimy. Just going to cut the skin. Get the skin, not digging too deep into it. This is pretty gross. <laughs> They're slimy fish. This one's been frozen for a few days. Because I don't know how to fillet fish. Disgusting. So I have to wait for Lucas to get home when I catch fish when he's not here. That's why we do these videos so you can learn. Yeah, but remember the last time I watched the video and then tried to fill it? <laughs> so now I got it cut all the way around. So you're gonna basically peel it back like a sock. So you're gonna go in here with your pliers and just work this skin. Get it going all the way around. You don't want to pull too hard on one area until you kind of get it going all the way around. It's kind of going all the way around here. Basically, just make sure you get a decent hold on the head and just keep pulling her back side to side. Eventually you'll get a good grip and it'll peel right off like a sock. Don't pull too hard. Get the end there and it'll fly off. Should slime all over the kitchen. There. Your skin. Okay, cleaned up a little bit here. Get rid of all that black, gross slime. Slime or whatever the heck it is. Now you're just going to kind of cut down the, the backbone here. Because there's a meat here. This is pretty much all it's got. There's a strip of meat here, and then you get all the back. So you're just going to want to kind of peel it away from the bones here. Unlike the walleye and the perch, we're not going to be cutting through any ribs or there should be no bone penetration. You just kind of follow the ribs with your fillet knife. So if anyone's ever harvested an animal, it's very similar to harvesting the back strap off of a deer or a moose or something similar. You're just peeling the meat away from the backbone and the ribs. Yeah, like there's not hardly any meat against fish are all guts yeah there's not the most a part up front ton of meat on these guys so we don't really keep the small ones because kind of a waste of fish so you can see the ribs right there basically just pulling the meat up so now I'm getting back down where it's back here and then you can kind of get in with your knife and just follow your back bone and there's no bones back here once you're once you're past here it's all the meat and the spine kind of thins out at the end here but there you have it one fillet so really like I said you you got a huge fish here but comparison for meat it's not a ton no which decent is decent amount but why we caught a ton of fish um keep while we were there but this was the biggest one and i um i've never um harvested one so i wasn't exactly sure how much meat we'll get off of it but this will be the very smallest end of keeper moving forward for sure 
Same thing on this side, just pull those ribs with your fillet knife. A lot of people use those electric fillet knives, so I'm not sure how that works for this kind of stuff. Maybe leave that in the comments if you use an electric and how you go about this. I don't know. I th my thoughts would be it would just chew into the bones too much because you're not. I don't know how much control you have with those. So here we go. We're all through the ribs and we're getting to the back here. Same thing, cut down to the spine. And Knife, follow it along all the way to the tip here. Get as much of the meat. So I've and heard burbot been called um, poor man's lobster, and I've seen someone cut these fillets into chunks that look similar to scallops and then they'll wrap it with bacon and make like bacon wrap burbot same as bacon wrap scallops and uh, that's what I think I'm going to do with my next burbot uh, maybe do a video of that and share it with you guys Lucas processes and I cook that's our teamwork yeah so all right there you go folks it's pretty simple you do a couple you'll get better at it for sure and I don't know, just have a decent set of pliers with some good grips in there because it is pretty slimy and just work slow and you'll get her off like a sock and cut your meat off but yeah it is uh, not a ton of meat like down here there's, it's just so thin and then there's all the guts here it's, it's about all you'll get off a of fish of that size so I don't know if you're keeping fish that small you, you get something like that it'd be equivalent to like a perch so. So, it's all up to the person catching it, I guess. If nice to get a decent amount of meat from your work. So, and there you go. Tight lines. Keep fishing. Mm -hmm.